Salutations, spooks, spirits, inspectors, and welcome to Portal Stories Mel. Uh, this game was suggested to me by a Jedi Master, so I figured I'll give it a shot. So here we go, let's get started, shall we? Uh, story mode, let's go. Start the timer. Can't forget to start the timer. It's important to start the timer so that way I know I don't overshoot my timing on the videos. We have ourselves a nice little half half life intro on the tram. Chapter 1, 1952. Is this thing on? Good, good, good. Okay, that's yeah, okay. <clears throat> Greetings, astronaut, war hero, or Olympian. My name's Cave Johnson. And boy, do I have something to show you. You're here because you're the best the world has to offer. I don't say that lightly, mind you, so take that as one of the biggest compliments you'll ever get in your life, even if you don't know who I am. In the beginning, I started a shower curtain company, making asbestos-laden shower curtains for the military. But I kept dreaming bigger and better. And you know what? That dreaming became doing. Lots of doing. Which brought you here. You're riding into the little Michigan town of... Uh... Wait... Where are we again? I thought he was sitting on air. Look, Barney reference. Point is, you're writing there, and you'll soon be Aperture Science Innovators. We're still getting some of this stuff together, but there's a lot of science we can do in the meantime. You've been selected from a large group of candidates for a special test in our temporary testing areas. When the train arrives at the station, head into the town and into the Aperture building. Don't worry, right. you'll know where it is. You'll get some more pre-recorded messages once you're there. Now, get ready to do some science. Science! For now, though, we're gonna put on some nice music for you. Enjoy the ride. Is this copyrighted music, though? That's my main question. <laughs> the bane of any and all YouTuber, Twitch streamer, anybody who's out there creating content. Copyrighted music. Testing area. All right, you're now arriving at Aperture Central Station. <clears throat> Wait, Chris, get out here. How do you spell station? Okay, think about that for a second. Okay, does station have an extra O before the I? All right, listen to me. Back your things. Because you're fired! Get out of my office! Out. Get out. Out of my office. <clears throat> but, oh, I can't re record this. <clears throat> I already played about like 20 minutes. Uh, first recording didn't go out so well because somehow I was blowing out my microphone. So hopefully I made the appropriate the appropriate adjustments and I'm not blowing out the microphone like I was before. Okay, so we have superconductor tests, superpowers, or super tumors, or both. Science spheres now with asbestos. Repulsion gel tastes like science. Wait, what? The most effective dietary aid, eat your favorite meals twice, never guilty again, lose all weight, none of the fat, all of the taste. Now, as I said before, there's a lot we're still working on. Just watch your step on the way out, and as a reminder, Aperture Science Innovators is not responsible for any injury you sustain, up to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray spallation. Don't worry, though. We haven't had an accident like that in three days. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Make that three minutes. Guy over here sleeping on the job. Can't enter the toilets. I think he's the only one I've seen, really, that is close enough to be interactive. Science innovators, we love to give back to the community. So, instead of just giving back, we made our own community. Entirely made out of Aperture Science malleable concrete on top of the salt mines. 
And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet either. <clears throat> last thing we need is to touch up a dent in the wall because someone was too hands on. Pretty moon. It's a very pretty moon. <laughs> I told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. <clears throat> Welcome to Aperture Science. Oh, <clears throat> Just head through the door on the right to the elevator. You all know where to go. That guy is also sleeping on the job. What? 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 I, that didn't happen before. I guess I wasn't paying attention. Any of these ones? No. Interesting. Wow, I never knew encountered that. I did. I guess I never ran up against the ledge before. Caroline is our guided tour representative of the day. Got a bunch of magazines here. Science, events, technology. Local entrepreneur buys salt mine. The future is here and it's under the Earth's crust, says Science Maverick. Can I go in here? Head on down here. So, at first, I wanted to put in a long flight of stairs that spiraled down through the old salt mines down here. Give the test subjects a great view of the place. But no! The zoning boards on my bean counter said that's why they invented elevators. So, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boys chickened out of me and built this elevator to go to our temporary offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> Seriously though, the stairs aren't ready, so get on that stupid elevator. Lifting made easy. Alright, there's nothing back there, I already looked. On to the elevator. Incoming loading screen. Time for a long ride down. Here at Aperture, we're always trying to push the boundaries of science that little bit more. That's why we're taking on this new project. When the bean counters told me not to buy a salt mine to all this science, the first thing they said was, No, there's too much space. You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test can happen in thin air. Well, thanks to some use of the old calculator between the ears and a generous helping of the You're Fired stamp, I came up with a final solution to that. If you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? I came up with this. Introducing the Aperture Science Innovator's Suspended Testing Sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. They seem like they float in Alpha. the air, but in fact, they don't. Plus, we can keep building above them, <laughs> onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least ten of these bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, ninety tests. We can test whatever we want to, and beat that other company into the ground. Black Mason. Those guys can kiss like right. Anyway, the bean counters cry like babies when they saw the cost of these things. But they wet their pants when they threw them out the door. I pay the bills, I make the decisions around here. And I hire and fire as I please. <clears throat> now, the first of these spheres won't be ready for a few more months. So, you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests. The Aperture Science Innovator's Short-Term Relaxation Vault. Which I think the short-term relaxation vault is something that uh, we woke up in in Portal 2. Huzzah! Hooray! So that'll be uh, interesting to see. Alright. The future of tomorrow starts today. The power of science! Going up there alone? When you get to the offices, I'll tell you a bit more. This test should be real easy for you, though. Just get inside one of the Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vaults and lie in a bed. You'll feel yourself fall asleep quickly. Don't worry, though. Our science boys will get you out shortly. You'll only be out for a few minutes. 
uh, an hour at most if something goes wrong. <clears throat> Don't worry, we ain't got everything under control. You'll be making science, and you won't have to do a thing. Science! Who's the winner here? You are. Salt a bit asbestos curtain, really. Alright, our elevator ride is coming to an end. And we'll have our lovely uh, next loading screen. Yeah, they're all just out of reach, all the people so far. Loading screen, here we are. Da 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 do. All right. Put me all the way back there. So, as I said on the last pre-recorded message, you'll be heading into an Aperture Science Innovators short-term relaxation vault for a quick deep sleep, and then you're done. That's why we brought you here at night. You're most likely a walking zombie. That'll give us the best results. But just remember, don't sleep too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. And if you decide to stay the night, I'm charging you rent for the next year. We'll have a bed ready for you. Just follow the testing area signs and go to bed. Don't mind the turrets. They're firing blanks. At least that's what Crazy Harry told me. <clears throat> Had six signs, boys, disappeared because of him. And then, quiet you, quiet you. We do a quick save because after seeing that sign, I couldn't help but. And you unlock a little achievement called Testing the Waters. So it's clear that in the great tradition, we still cannot swim. Uh, there's not really much going on here. I already looked around there. Empty room. Empty room. Empty rooms. So we'll just go straight over to our little uh, test thingy. U.S. Department of Defense Contractor of the Year runner-up in 1952. Don't worry, those stories won't kill you. The safety on their guns is on. Got some lab boys shoving down. Crazy Harry lied to me. Spirit of Idaho National Potato Board Award for the promotion of potato science. And I was a little nervous about these, so... They said blanks and they've been deactivated, so I kind of did this. But apparently... They are off, indeed. And here is our relaxation vault. Not quite the same as sh shells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait. Three, six, nine. Eight. So this would be number 12, right? Oh, but there's more. There's so many more. I didn't even notice that there were so many. If you're hearing this message, you're at the sleeping chamber. Carolyn, is the test ready? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Then you're good to go. Step into the chamber and get into the bed. Our lab boys will take care of the rest. All right, well, we're not gonna go to sleep right now. Instead, we are going to observe art and become cultured and end the video. So thank you all very much for watching and ciao for now. Ciao for now.